Good evening, everybody. Uh, tonight we are going to try a new place um, that we've never been to before. It's called the Angus Steakhouse and Seafood here in Calabash, North Carolina. Uh, we've got several views from here in Calabash, and as y'all know, I've said this before, this is the furthest point south in the state of North Carolina that you can go. It's down on the uh, coast with the border of South Carolina and the Atlantic Ocean. So uh, we're going to go in here tonight, try out this new place. It's smelling really good from the parking lot here. Uh, but it's again, it's the Angus Steakhouse and Seafood. So we're going to go in here and try it out tonight. restaurant. Uh, can't really read the lettering because of the palm trees, but it's still a very nice looking place. And over here on the right side, they've got a very spacious and nice outside dining area. And we're going to utilize that tonight. It's still a pleasant evening, a little bit windy, but we're going to be sitting outside tonight here on the waterfront. Now, here we are on the waterfront here in Calabash. Um, if you've watched our reviews on Captain Nance's Seafood or the Waterfront Seafood Shack, this is the same waterfront. In fact, there's a whole line of restaurants down this road, uh, down this road here. Uh, we have not tried all of them, but we've tried those other two. Now we're at our third one. Uh, and all of them are right here on the beautiful waterfront here in Calabash. This is one of my favorite places to dine uh, when we come down here. Not necessarily this restaurant, just this area. Um, I call it Seafood Row. I don't know if that's really what it's called, but uh, it's where you make that right turn in Calabash and uh, right by Callahan's Gift Shop, and then you go down, and there's all kinds of restaurants along there, all specializing in the famous Calabash shrimp. But we're going a little different route tonight. We're going for steak. So, and around here. Shaughnessy and got my mom with us tonight. I'm gonna get a quick shot of her. She didn't want to be on here. So she'll know when she watches it. Alright, here's a quick rundown of the menu. Uh, you do have some options here. Apparently they've gone up. They have not updated the website yet. Be aware of that. Um, some surf and turf specials where you pick one surf, um, which would be I guess seafood, and then one turf, which would be land, and then you choose your side. There's that. All right, so appetizers. A little breezy tonight from Nicole, so tropical storm Nicole. Truthfully, in looking at their steak and prime rib prices and comparing it to Gatlinburg, I would say this is running a little cheaper. Not cheap, but cheaper than what you would pay in Gatlinburg to pigeon yeah. for Jerry, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. That wind is picking up. I hope Shaughnessy's wig don't fly off. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have it secure pretty good. <laughs> Super glue. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, now for the back. Mm -hmm. Blue cheese for the salad, please. Thank you, thank you. For the side. Uh, baked potato. Take care. Would you like that loaded with bacon and cheese or just mm -hmm. butter? Stuff good? Just butter, please. Sounds good. I'll get that right in for you guys. Thank you. Bread they bring out. I'm going to step inside and get a little bit of the interior. Okay, upon stepping inside, I'm going to say this place 
It must not have been open long. There's not many people here yet. This looks really nice on the inside. This would be a good romantic place to bring your wife or I like those tables too. Look at that. It's very spacious inside. You got booths. You can actually sit on the look at the waterfront through those back windows as well. Get just a little more of the inside over here as you go out. I like the decor on the wall here. I don't know about y'all. That's one crab. I don't think I'm gonna mess with. Yeah. Yeah. Look at them eyes on that crab there. I like these silverware uh, too. This knife and fork. So pretty cool little design there. So we're gonna try to see if this bread's any good. Take you a bite of that bread there. That wig's holding on. How's the bread? It's good. It's got like a little bit of a sweet taste to it. All right. That's good. All right, here's the salad. All right, here is the grilled chicken plate. That's what that looks like. And you got black. black. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My natural flu away. And the wigs next. <laughs> you got the grilled chicken with the garlic mashed potatoes, and there's my ribeye steak with garlic mashed potatoes. So he's going to get my A1. Okay. The wind is picking up, folks. <laughs> Wasn't quite what we had in mind sitting out here, but that's what we got. Uh, we apologize for having to do the bill like this, but it is extremely windy now. I think Nicole's coming up this way. Now, there's an adjustment here on the bill on my stake. There is a reason for that. We'll talk about that in the final review. This was our total bill. It would have been a lot more, but... Um, we're going to do our final close out in a minute, and we'll explain what the situation there is. Okay, just finished up our supper here at the Angus Steakhouse and Seafood in Calabash, North Carolina. And um, this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, so first of all, I'll start off telling what my mom had. She uh, had the, was it, grilled chicken? She had grilled chicken. And what was her side? Baked potato. Baked potato. She, she enjoyed thought, her meal. Yeah, enjoyed it. Said everything was really good. Chicken was good. Mm -hmm. All right, now you, you pick up. Okay, so I got the blackened chicken, um, and I got the garlic mashed potatoes, and everything came with a side salad. Um, side salad was good, um, had a good mixture of everything in it. Um, the garlic mashed potatoes were instant, so I wasn't thrilled about that. I didn't, I mean, the taste was okay, but I just, you know, I wouldn't have got that if I'd known that. But um, And then the chicken, actually there was two breast filleted open and it, it was a lot of meat. I couldn't eat all yeah, of it. Good portion. Yeah, very good portion. It was very tender. It was juicy. Um, no <coughs> complaints about the, the chicken at all. Um, so my meal was good. The bread, we did ask why it was so sweet and he said, what did he say? That they put a honey glaze on it or? Some, yeah, something yeah. like that. But um, the bread was good too. I mean, my, my meal was good and I enjoyed it. All right, yeah, so we did come tonight. We sat outside with Hurricane Nicole coming up the coast towards the area, our tropical storm now, I guess. Uh, we did sit outside tonight. We like waterfront dining outside. Uh, Temperature-wise, it was a very comfortable evening. It was probably a little bit windy to be doing it, though, and the wind got worse as, as we were sitting there. Mm -hmm. um, I want to say the inside of the restaurant, very, very nice, very open in there. It's one of the nicer interiors of a restaurant I've been in in a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to say that about it. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as fair and balanced as I can because that's what y'all want us to do is give honest experiences. So they brought out the bread first. The bread, if you like your bread really sweet, I mean, honestly, I've had cinnamon rolls that were not as sweet as that bread. That was the sweetest bread. It wasn't your typical steakhouse yeast roll that I'm accustomed to. It was a sweet bread, yeah. I think the bread was a little sweet for my liking. I mean, it wasn't, wasn't terrible, but it just, I don't know. I, I was not expecting it. So that was a little bit sweet. The salad... I was a little bit underwhelmed by the salad, and maybe that's because we, we were just at the Peddler last week, and um, that salad was 10 to 1 better. Uh, this you is just basic salad, there, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it was, it was okay for, you know. A side salad. Uh, yeah, it's a side salad. So then the steak came out. I got the garlic mashed potatoes with that. And um, the, garlic, the garlic mashed potatoes, uh, I thought they tasted good. I didn't even pick up on them being instant. That's what, that was what she said. I... 
I, I just gobbled them down. I was kind of hungry. So I thought they had a decent taste to them. The steak, now there was an adjustment on our bill for the steak, and I'm going to tell you why. I ordered the ribeye steak, 12 ounces, and I really was just going to give an honest review. I was, I was not really happy with the steak at all. Uh, the steak, from the very first time I tried to cut a piece of it, was very tough, very rubbery. And a ribeye is not supposed to be that way. A ribeye is a very tender cut of meat. You know, in a ribeye, you've got the center part that's maybe a little bit more firm. Then you've got the top part and the, uh, the little tail at the bottom that are very tender. Those parts were tender, but the middle of it was very, very, very tough. And when our server came out, by the way, his name was Mike, excellent server, very efficient. No problem with him at all. Um, he came out and asked me how the steak was. I said, well, i got to be honest with you. The flavor of it's fine, but I said, I have a hard time eating it because it's very tough. Now, what a lot of y'all don't know is I have issues of swallowing food, especially meats. I have to have a lot of drink. I can't eat without a drink. Um, and I, there was a couple times tonight, I didn't know if I was going to get a bite down. And um, I did let them know that. I said, look, that's one of the toughest steaks, honestly, I've ever had in a steakhouse. And um, he came back out and I asked him, I said, Are y'all can y'all do anything about that experience? He said, he told the manager. And I said, if you, I'm not asking you to take the whole thing off, but I think maybe if they'll take 50% of it off, uh, that would be agreeable with me. So uh, he said that we'll take care of you. So he came back out and said that the manager took 30% off my meal and then was going to send another steak with me to go and was going to try to make sure that was tender. So basically they took off 30% off the bill and then sent me another steak, which I've not tried yet. So they I, said they want to make sure before I post this, right. I will eat that steak and I will put a little note or something at the end, but you know, if it was any better. But they thank me for the feedback. They've only been open since June, but... Um, they, you know, I had, we had read some feedback before we came, and some of it was very high, uh, very good. Some of it was not. And tonight, my my experience, my recommendation would be if you come in here, get chicken, because they they both the love chicken their chicken. Good. And um, I want to try the prime rib at some point. And maybe though, maybe this will help them with whatever issue it is with the steak. But to me, there's different there's different grades of meat. There's prime, there's choice. Usually those are really good. Then there's select, which is a little bit more gristle and a little tougher. I, I feel like what I got was maybe a, a select cut or something like that. Um, it was priced a little cheaper too. I, I did mention that at the beginning, but it, it was it was a tough steak. I have not tried the other one, but I will, and I'll let y'all know how it goes. So would I come here again? I would. If that steak that, I, that the one they sent is good, I may try a steak again. I, I would like to come back for the prime rib. When I, we got out of the vehicle, not the place smelled amazing. You could just smell the grill, or the food being grilled. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I would give it another try, but I, I just feel like maybe my experience was not what theirs was. So, thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And find us on Facebook. All right, thank you. We appreciate it. Okay, just wanted to do this quick little add-on. Um, I told you they gave me another steak to go, so I took it back to the house and uh, ate it. It was much better, so... Don't know what the issue is with the first one. I think it was maybe a, a lower um, grade of meat. But anyway, got a better one this time, the one they gave me. Um, I did take it back and eat it, and 24 ounces of steak later, I'm pretty miserable. But I wanted to try the other one and see how it was while it was still warm. So much better. So, the, you know, I'm not going to say I don't recommend their steak. I did, I did get a bad one tonight, but the one they sent sent me to go was, was a good one. So anyway... Um, Angus Steakhouse and Seafood in Calabash, North Carolina. Um, again, very nice restaurant, very efficient um, service. So my only issue tonight was the steak. They made it right. So anyway, just wanted to let y'all know how the second one went.